hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're new here my name is sally and welcome so in today's video we'll be doing a recreation again by our favorite painted by spencer i kept on saying paint by spencer and i'm sorry for mispronouncing his handle his name on his youtube channel youtube channel it's painted by Spencer. We're doing another video from him called the bombshell makeup look. Um, so it's giving like that 80s, 90s kind of makeup look. Okay, so get your makeup kit, get your bottle of water, and let's do this. Let's look flawless together. Okay, so we're gonna start with skin prep. I already put my face cream on. He also starts with putting just a face cream. So I'm going to actually go with my primer. I recently got the Maybelline, um, the Maybelline primer, the dewy one, because we always use the matte one, but now I got the dewy one, so I want to try that one because I'm so excited. I want to see the difference. I want to see what it does to my face, you know. Maybe it'll look flawless, maybe it will not. Maybe there was no difference and I didn't have to buy it and it was a waste of money. So this is how it looks like. It also has some sunscreen in it, SPF 20. So that's good. Hope I'm applying primer like correctly in the right areas. You know? I'm also gonna apply my, our favorite, the eye primer. Because we are going to do something with the eyelids but we're not going to do too much i can see that he put a lot of eyeliner for the look but like we're not doing too much yeah. gonna get into foundation as per usual you know spencer he always he starts with the face first the the base makeup and then he gets to the eyes the eyes are always like the last thing he does so i'm using the wet and wild you know our favorite i'm not gonna color correct because i kind of don't feel like it it's a lot of work to color correct i mean i'm just gonna apply more foundation than usual uh spencer also uses like a luminous kind of foundation and this one is is it luminous, wet and not, this wet and wild? Sometimes on the internet it says it's not, it's actually mattifying, but it gives me that shine that I want, so yeah. Anyway, I have my beauty blender here, and he, of course, loves using the sponge, so we're gonna use the sponge too. Do not judge how dirty that sponge was. I haven't washed my stuff in a minute. Do not judge. Do not judge how dirty the sponge looks. Sorry for the vibration. It is a message. I really need to invest in a camera because getting this mm -hmm from my phone really while I'm recording is kind of like annoying. Now we're gonna get into contouring. So we're gonna use, you know, our favorite, the Maybelline eraser. I know he fits, he uses a cream contour, but I do not have a cream contour, so I'm gonna use my liquid one. Tried and true. So I'm just gonna apply it. Okay, so let's start blending. He kind of taps it in this area. I'm gonna kind of bring my contour down like this. And then bring it down here. Cover up my double chin as we use. Push it up into the hairline. Bring some color there. Then 
a bit of the nose just tap it in like this make my nose skinny you know so we're gonna get into concealer I'm gonna use two concealers still Maybelline um, what you might call number four number ten we're gonna put those in those in this part of the eye the inner corner that's what they call I think I'm gonna start first with 10 see it's like the same color as as fawn basically and then I'm also gonna just apply I don't know if this is the correct way to do it but I'm just gonna do it anyway I'm gonna apply number four right there I just want to brighten up my eyes some more so after he he said he lets this sit on his face and then we're just getting into the cream blush the only cream blush I got is from Fenty so we're gonna use that one so we're gonna use this the what is it summertime wine this is the only cream blush I got we're gonna use it with a sponge this is the best way I know how to apply a cream blush I want I, using a brush sometimes doesn't work out and I don't like the placement how I put it with a brush so I'll rather use just a sponge I'm gonna just tap it in see and then this is a kind of a damp sponge also which helps to pick up all that product of the of the blush you know Doing this with a dry sponge, there won't be anything on it. Like nothing will be put on your face, I'll tell you that. I have more powder blushes than cream ones. So I wanna try, you know, more cream products, more liquid blushes as well. You know, why not? So now we're gonna start blending out the concealer. I'm going to use the same sponge I used to apply the foundation and apply it and just bring it up like this and bring it down a little more into this area. I didn't put any concealer up there in my eyelid. It's just all that excess from and from here to there. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use back to 10, amazing 10, to apply here and then on my nose and then on my forehead as well. Okay, so we're going to blend this area here. I'm also going to bring it up here, the axis. Okay, I'm also going to just fix this forehead part here because the concealer went too up there and uh, I have too big of a forehead. Like I can see why people say if you have a big forehead you must put more contour there than putting more highlight because then the highlight makes your forehead look a lot bigger compared to just contouring it, it makes it look a lot more smaller, you know? Okay, so we're going to set, I'm going to use again, you know, our favorite Absolute Translucent Powder by Yardley. We're going to use a small brush here and apply it onto that under, under, what? under eye area. So I'm just going to blend out first to make sure everything is blended out. You know, you don't want the creasing. I'm just going to... I'm gonna use not number I'm gonna use number four and just apply it a little bit there on the on the eye there to just lighten it up, you know. Just lighten it up a little bit. And immediately just sit. I'm using a smaller brush and not like a what is it like a pad like a what's a sponge 
not this thing to apply the translucent powder there because it is winter time here in SA in South Africa so I don't want like the translucent powder will kind of dry out my my skin I mean a lot of people's skin gets very dry during the winter time and let's so we want to just put less powder you know not pack it in as much you know I'm gonna set the rest of my face using a bigger fluffy brush just in that area we're gonna get into bronzing favorite yardly one I'm gonna use the same brush I used to apply the translucent powder and I'm just gonna lightly apply it in the areas where I contoured just to bring a little bit of color back into my skin you know now we're gonna go into the blush area and we're gonna emphasize that cream blush because it kind of kind of dissolved in a way I'm gonna go with this pink one you know this lovely this aside the pink one here from sheer glam can't get enough of this blush I just I can't believe it looks so good on my skin So now we're gonna do brows. I'm just gonna do what I usually do with my brows. Put the wax. I love this wax. So we're gonna go into that precisely brow pencil. And just apply in those areas. So we're gonna get into eyeshadow favorite we're gonna use of course our favorite one the cookie cream we love the neutrals the neutrals are gorgeous so we're gonna do a nice we're gonna do a nice um kind of base kind of thing you know what am i saying we're gonna apply like a color that is like closest to my skin tone. I'm gonna apply butter me. Just to blend out the creases as he says. So it's almost like the color of my translucent powder. Use, um, what is it called? Brown sugar. As our transition, like our blendable like the color that we're going to use to blend the other colors that we use on this eyelid he kind of stretches the model skin in a way like pulls it back like this and then applies just out here he also puts it in by the brow bone here just, uh, just blend it here Okay, so we're gonna put more, we're gonna use a darker brown. I'm using the Love Chip one. It's right here. We're gonna just apply it in this area here. Gonna emphasize it more on this part here. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little bit of shimmer in this in the inner corner here now my issue is he uses like a gold kind of shimmer because you can see look at this palette here it's the she glam lively leo leo if you can see see but i don't it looks like too big of a glitter and he kind of uses more of a subtle glitter so i've got this essence one or what is it? Ole Rio? Ole Rio? 
um, as you can see I can see this one this is a potential um, it's like a gold but also this one is also potential these two I want that kind of shine not like in your face you know I don't know if you you guys get get what I'm trying to say I don't think you guys get it it's fine it's fine it's fine other palette that I have is this one revolution you know what this color here it's not actually bad so it looks close to it to the color he used on her I mean I know she's white and stuff you know uh, it's a whole other whole other as a black person it's not gonna look exactly like hers but I just want it to be similar just, I genuinely do not like playing a um, eyeshadow with a, with my finger. Like, I don't feel like it's accurate enough in the way I want to apply it. But I think this is working. Ooh. Oh, I think they discontinued this palette though. I don't know why I stopped using this palette. I think because I got into other palettes, so you know, you always forget your OGs and then you know your day ones. And then your day ones show up and say, and then you remember your day ones and it's like, wow, I could have just used this this whole time. Like there is literally nothing wrong with this palette. This palette is the best. So we're gonna go back with the darker shade and put it underneath our um, underneath here this part here I'm gonna put it there okay so we're not doing like a full wing line we are kind of but not really so I'm just going to let me look at the mirror yeah so I'm gonna first go with this brown I'm gonna start with first I'll outline like just drawing in where I want to put the liner I'm gonna start with this brown one because you know brown is easy to blend out we're putting it right here I don't know if you guys can see It brings it all the way into the inner corner like that. So afterwards, I'm going to use my eyeliner. Uh, both those these products, this black one and this brown one, are all from Essence. And I'm going to apply it where I put the brown liner. Okay, so this side looks just like that. So now we're gonna go back more. So we're gonna put more black eyeliner in those areas. So I got this Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner. It's like a thicker, more looking one. And I'm just gonna put it like literally underneath the lash line, like right here. And then we're also gonna apply it right there okay so then we're gonna just blend out this area here do some mascara now just going to apply my eyelash curler first just wait there for like a minute oh, having barely no lashes is just a crime okay so I got this mascara here i'm using a new one it's the essence false it's the false lash effect mascara what i usually used to use is this one the 
sculpt volume one but i'm going to use this one now because i want to try it out yeah why not why the hell not i'm just gonna just apply it so now we're getting into the part i've been dreading lashes we're gonna apply lashes i'm gonna use this one I got this pack cheap cheap okay do i know anything about applying choosing what type of lashes i should pick no i just saw them i saw there's many of them and i just picked them see as you can see multiple ones oh lord have mercy god be with me uh, let me see Ah, more natural right there. Okay. So the tweezers I got are these ones. It's not the best kind of tweezers, but like, what can I do? You know, but what can we really do? Okay. So it's like right here. So I'm going to bring my mirror even closer to me. Lift it up a little bit. Just measure my eyebrow, I mean, my eye. So I got this um, Sobit, was it eyeliner? It's more like a black eyeliner there. Let me put this down. So I'm just going to apply it there. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to, everybody keep quiet. Everybody on mute. Look around, everybody on mute. Hey. This almost turned into a disaster. But... There's my lashes. Oh, that was horrifying. Oh my gosh. It's not put perfect, but you can't. Can you tell? Can you tell? You can't tell. As long as you can't tell, then, <laughs> then the whole world can't tell. Okay. I don't have what you might call. Uh, what you call it low, like individual lashes that I can put for my lower lashes here but uh, it was such a struggle just putting the upper ones I do not want to risk and and I'm already tired I, uh, I want to keep on doing this so I'm just gonna leave those like so I'm just gonna apply the banana powder yeah just a little bit it's a revolution banana powder and then I'm going to also apply it with a smaller brush in those shiny areas here Okay, so after all that, I'm going to now put highlighter and I'm going to use, of course, Anastasia here. And I'm going to use the color white sand and just before, after. Ooh, pretty. I have the smaller brush to apply in those small little parts that I want the highlighter to be. So like here, see, really pretty. Not too much now. And then also the nose. And here. Do our lips. We're gonna line this part. I don't wanna use a dark one, like a dark liner. I'm gonna just use something that'll that looks closer to my skin tone. 
you know. Mm -hmm. See, it looks more like my skin tone. I'm using the lipstick as a liner, so sue me. Okay, so now he is going to use a lot pinkier lip gloss. He doesn't want to use lipstick. So I'm just going to go straight with this lovely Fenty Cream in, what is it, Marby Wives. And just... Last but not least, we are going to use setting spray. I remember I bought this and it's like a prime and fine from Kitchies. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. So we're going to use that one. Oh. Now I remember why I didn't like using this one. It's not like a mist like the other setting, the Maybelline one. I think that's why I never liked... Oh, I never liked using this one. Oh my word. But it's more like a hydrating setting spray than the Maybelline one. Oh. Going from this to this. So this is the final look how do i look it's basically what we usually do with the other makeup looks especially with the base the only difference is always the eyes the eyes are always different i finally attempted trying to put eyelashes and i look good i just need to need more practice but i love these lashes that i got i got them i think it was called the funky store um I kind of wished I used more of an orange blush actually than a pink one but other than that I love this look this is giving like something for metric dance dinner like function color thing where you wear your cocktail dresses it's giving that like this is a kind of look I would wear even for like graduation or something I want to thank painted by Spencer for this lovely look um he really knows what he's doing and i'm loving it it's his his explanations on how, what to do and how to do it is always perfect you know we replaced painted by spencer here Ooh. hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment this in this video and please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next week bye